What's up? Welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Lexi and today I'm going to show you how I created this cute cloud technique with literally like two or three products. It's super simple, super easy. You can use any colors you want. So let's just get into the video. Hey guys, so I've obviously done the right side of my face already. I didn't put anything on the left aside from primer and moisturizer. For my right eye, I just used the ColourPop Sailor Moon Pretty Guardian palette. And what else did I use? The Tarte Flirt palette is the other one that I used. I just used a brown from there. I also have on Precious Petals as my highlight from Wet n Wild. And my eyeliner is actually from the palette that we're going to be getting into for this video. So for the look that I'm doing, I highly recommend that you get a water-based paint palette. The one that I have is the Moran Gypsy Shrine palette. This actually took a little while to get here because it is a UK based brand. Obviously Moran is not a UK based brand that I know of, like it's accessible out here, but because this specific palette that they did is with Shrine, you could only order it through them and it took a hot minute to get here. But these are the colors here, so I'll show you guys how it looks. Obviously, she's a little used, but we're just making the most out of this palette. It is literally everything to me right now. For this look in particular, you do not need this specific palette. You just need a water-based palette that has blue and white. So the makeup look that we're doing today is actually going to be this one that's popping up on the side of me. This is by Hailey Fox Art. Hailey Fox Art is literally everything to me right now. I'm so obsessed. I feel like when you're a kid and you kind of go through like that Lisa Frank stage, but with Hailey Fox Art, I just feel like they are so insanely creative creative, insanely talented, and everything that they create is just so beautiful. So Hailey Fox, our Instagram is going to be linked down below. If you don't have a chance to check down there, I'll also have it pop up here on screen. They also sell like insane products like earrings and stickers and the actual like canvases that these prints are made on. It's just incredible and I've been waiting maybe about two or three weeks in order to place an order. I just can't decide what I want from them. It's literally like everything. And then they just came out with these scream stickers that are so damn cute. Like just definitely make sure you go check out. Hailey Fox art. <laughs> so if you don't follow me on Instagram yet, I definitely recommend you do. I post a lot of looks on there that I actually do not make tutorials on for YouTube. But like I said, I have been heavily inspired by Hailey Fox art. So I have been recreating different canvas looks that they have, which obviously it's a paint canvas and I've been doing a makeup look out of it. So this is a look that I did yesterday. It obviously has a lot more cloud action than what we're doing today, but I'm just going to run down the basics with you guys so that you can get an idea of how to do it. So creating the clouds is actually insanely easy and again if you have this water based palette it doesn't even have to be like a professional palette it could literally be from like Spirit Halloween, 99 cent store, anywhere that you can find a water activated paint palette. So because I don't really like to mix my colors in here because then it's going to kind of mess it up when I want to do another look I like to use a paper plate and I'm going to take some of this blue I'll show you guys how much so you can see. So this is about how much I'm going to be using of the blue paint and I literally just put it on the paper plate. So obviously it is a baby blue look more than like a royal blue like this. So I'm going to be taking basically about double the amount of white that we just used for the blue. So this is how we're looking right now. You actually can't really see the white. So I'm going to zoom you guys in. This is about how much paint I have. Obviously about twice the amount of white than I do with the blue. And I'm about to show you guys how easy it is to use water-based paints. Like if you have not used them yet, this is gonna change your life. So the brush I'm using, I actually have no idea where it's from. I'm pretty sure it's just Michaels or something, but it's just a regular paintbrush. And I just have water in a little spray bottle. I'm gonna get a little closer so you guys can see. So this is obviously how we're looking. You just spray some water onto here and you can already see it's getting a little runny. And just mix the colors together. And depending on how much water you're using, you'll get different consistencies. So I like to kind of start off with a thinner base and then just continuously cover it up with the same color. I don't know, I just like to use a thin consistency to start. So this is how we're looking. I don't want to tilt it too much because it's going to spill. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have a pencil mark going down my face, which I did prior to even putting any makeup on. It really just helped me to see where exactly I need to put the foundation on on the right hand side of my face. So, so you can add a little bit more water if you want. You don't have to. It's all up to you. Just know that when you run out of this color, you need to mix one that's going to be basically the exact same color, which is why we use so much to begin with. And I'm just going to start putting it on my face. It's also insanely easy to take this off since it's water-based. You literally don't even need a makeup remover. You can just use water. So I think I'm going to add a little bit more white because this blue is just a little too dark for me. I'm going to add about this much. Okay, that's more of like a sky blue, I feel. So we're going to use this. 
And in my photo that I'm going to take, I'm not really planning on showing a lot of my neck area, but I'm going to pull it down just in case. So it might look a little funny on camera, but it'll make sense later. <laughs> Okay, so now I want to try to get around my eyebrow area. So for that, I'm going to be using this small brush from Mud Cosmetics. This is just a lip brush, but any small flat brush like this will work. Looks like I'm picking my nose, but I have to get in between for my nose ring. So my brush is starting to dry out. It's right about the time that I need to dip back into the paint. Before I do that, I'm gonna actually go over where the cloud outline is on this side of my face because this paint is a little bit more dry. It's gonna be a little bit easier to work with and a little less pigmented. So I'm literally gonna make small motions like this in order to get the cloud formation on my face. This is just kind of like a basic outline of what we're going to be doing and this is water activated so if you mess up at any point you can literally just spray water and it'll come right off and then we're just gonna pull down so that we can blend it seamlessly later so now i'm going in again with my large paintbrush and i'm gonna go over everything again you want to make sure that you're covering your ears too. I haven't finished mine. I keep going back and forth to it, but you want to make sure that you cover your ears and your waterline. Thankfully in this photo, the girl doesn't have anything in her waterline. It's not blue or anything like that, but if you're doing character makeup or anything where you need to be fully one color, make sure you cover your ears and cover your waterline because those are the two things that are going to literally give away your entire makeup. So for my chin area, because I do want to eventually transition this out just to my foundation shade, I'm going to just kind of fan out right here so that it's easier to blend later. There are parts that I'm leaving out, like around my hairline, you can see, but I'm just going to take a photo with this, so it's going to be basically covered like that after so you're not going to really see my hairline so now i'm going to take a little bit of this color from the palette which is kind of like a teal sea foam color i'm literally taking the smallest amount can you see there you go so i'm literally just taking this so i'm going to be mixing the sea foam color with a little bit of white my plate is entirely blue now so i'm just putting it on like the rim of the plate and then i'm going to take a clean brush and mix the two of them together and she kind of just has it in like her forehead her forehead <laughs> it's kind of just in her forehead area here so I'm gonna just start mixing this in a little bit and it goes down her nose and you can be sloppy with this again it's supposed to be like clouds so it doesn't need to be perfect at all dabbing it in like this along the borderline so that it just blends nicely this is like the perfect brush to use for this too because of the texture of it, like the bristles aren't all the same size and then the length of it allows for more of like a small cloud type of look when you're dabbing product on. This color kind of drags down this way in this girl's photo so I'm gonna just barely create some very small clouds here. And Yay, I'm so happy with it. It doesn't look like much now, but I swear once we start adding in more colors and everything, it's gonna look so, so good. I think with the excess color of this, I'm gonna actually go over in this area and start adding in a little bit of color and texture. So basically the method for these clouds is you don't wanna drag your brush because then the lines are gonna look so smooth and a cloud doesn't really look like that. It has a lot of texture to it. So you kind of just want to dab the brush on your face. You can use your finger, you can try a beauty blender, I did that the other day. Whatever you're comfortable with, just to give it more of a powder look. Okay, so now you can kind of see with the color difference how it's just a bringing more dimension and more life into these clouds where before it was just all blue, like smurf looking. And now it just adds that extra layer of dimension. So now I'm going to be using the Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to take a mix of these two colors. So I'm going to just start going over different parts of my face so we can set the paint. 
you also want to dab it in don't rub it in because it's going to take off your paint so you don't have to put powder all over the entire thing you want to cover most of the little creasing areas so like your eyelid right here underneath your eye around your nose your mouth anywhere on your face that creases for everybody it's different so just cater to what your face needs so now i'm gonna take more white <laughs> And I'm gonna mix it in with the blue color that we have created. Literally anywhere on your palette, pick a spot, just mix it in. And you wanna get like a very, very light blue color. So basically like this. So I'm gonna put a few under my eye and just kind of do an outline at first and then honestly just go with the flow, whatever your heart desires. You just kind of do small little outlines and we'll go and clean everything up later. Just start outlining and then pulling the color out. So I'm going to start adding a ton more clouds on my face. It's the same concept over and over and over. So I'm going to speed up this process and then be right back. So I've moved on to using my finger at this point just to get a little bit of a lighter touch with the clouds. I think I put a little more than I would prefer, but I'm just going with it and I'm just gonna see how it turns out. So it's just literally the same color, not these two, this one. <laughs> it's just the same color that I was using, like that white color. And then I'm going over with a clean finger, which now it's dirty from tapping it in but going over it and tapping in that paint that I'm adding on it looks really good I'm really really happy with how this is coming out we're actually almost done completely we just have a few more steps and we're good to go so now I'm gonna be taking a small angled brush just like this like an eyeliner brush and I'm just gonna take a little bit of white paint on it and I'm gonna start doing small little lines to give the clouds a little more life. I'm also not adding any down here just because I only covered this just in case if there's an off chance that my neck shows up in the photo because basically my photo is going to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really need anything on my neck. I literally just put it just in case. So that's the only reason why I'm not putting any clouds. Otherwise, I would be putting hella clouds on it because this looks freaking stupid. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for the paint for the clouds. We're going to go in with a little bit of shadows just to define everything. And then we're pretty much finished with this. I'm again going to be taking the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And I'm going to take this color here. And I'm just going to add this underneath all of the clouds on my face. This does not have to be perfect. You definitely don't want like straight lines with shading this because then it's not going to look realistic whatsoever. You can even kind of create new clouds with this if you want and then just make sure you blend it in nicely. So I love how these are coming out. It's definitely a different vibe than the ones that I did yesterday, which were the pink clouds. Having the blue ones, it just looks a little bit different, but I still really, really love it just as much. This actually also covers more... Yeah, I would think that this covers more area on my face where yesterday, wherever it wasn't pink, it was blue, so it was just a little bit different, but overall I have a lot more clouds on my face today than I did in the other look that I did. Okay, and now I'm gonna take a little bit of the white from the palette and start adding it on top of the white areas of the clouds. So my eyes probably look hella red. In all of my photos, my eyes look so red and I honestly edit that out of every single one of my photos. My eyes are very sensitive and get extremely irritated by my contacts. I haven't even had them in for maybe two and a half, three hours. It's mainly this one. I don't know if you guys can see. It literally looks like yellow like yellow red like strained it's only when i have my contacts in so i know it's not like a health problem but it literally only only happens when i have my contacts in so i think i need to call my eye doctor because my eyes are just so sensitive and so hard to work with 
I would prefer to use contacts when filming a video because then I can see myself. Otherwise, I'm like, just not a vibe, you know? So now we're gonna be dipping in again to our palette and you guessed it, the white shade once again. <laughs> and this time we just want pure white, like only, only white. So now I'm gonna be adding in the sparkle effect. So basically the sparkle looks something like this. I'm gonna do it on the back of my hand so it's a little easier for you guys to see it. And I'm gonna make it a lot bigger than I'm going to on my face just so you can get an idea. But this is basically how you want them to look. So you can literally add them wherever you want, as many as you want. I'm gonna add a good amount for this one, maybe like six to eight. This brush is just a little crazy. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be fine. She just looks a little messy, but it's a vibe, right? Messy, messy's a vibe. So now I'm gonna start adding small dots in different places and it's just gonna add to the sparkle effect. So you definitely want to add them around where you have a sparkle out and then just put them in random places because why not? You know, it just, can you? I thought, oh my God, okay, I thought that this way. <laughs> I'm freaking stupid. I thought this was like a reflection from like the blinds in my room So I was trying to block it, but no girl. It's the clouds dummy So we are completely completely finished with all of the paint that we're putting on our face all of the shadows all of that The very last step with these clouds is to add glitter This is definitely optional if you don't want to add glitter You can just stop right here, but I personally just love the way that the glitter looks I feel like it just adds another cute little touch on top of the clouds It just brings out a little bit more sparkle personality in it so we're gonna be adding glitter so I'm gonna be using the NYX cosmetics glitter primer you literally just want to dab it into your skin wherever you think you're gonna put glitter if you think you're gonna put it all over perfectly fine just make sure that the glue isn't super thick like this when you're putting it on you kind of want to rub it out get it a little thin before and just add it all over I don't want to tip it because then it's all gonna fall out but the glitter that I'm using is from models own and it's called Mars and I'm literally just taking my finger and I'm going to start placing it all over. I don't really like when a lot of the glitter clumps up in one area though, so you might see me like scratching it around. I just find that the easiest way to, to move everything, but it's all up to your preference. If you like the glitter all together, that's perfectly fine. Again, this is everything about this look is based on your preference, what you prefer, what you like. There's no wrong way of doing this look whatsoever. I like the bigger like sequiny um, glitter pieces, but what really, really pulls this entire thing together are these little, little tiny pieces of glitter. That is definitely what makes this look. On camera, I don't know if it picks it up as much, but definitely in person and in photos, whew, that small glitter is everything. So that's it for the clouds. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and be right back. So that is it. I finished my look completely. Again, I'm not adding any clouds to this. It's just in case in the photos my neck comes out. I put a little bit of the blue paint onto my lips just to give it a little bit more of a blended cloud effect with the rest of my face. But that is basically it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And until I see you next time, please be kind to those around you and I'll see you soon.